Collector Ron Dominguez portrays himself as a contemporary absinthe drinker to mark the influence of early modern art on his life. Dominguez learned about art buying and selling established modern and pop prints. Now, as a collector of emerging lowbrow art, his choices are helping to define the movement. Collecting like a curator rather than an investor or decorator, Dominguez explains his role. As a collector, you, you invited them into your life and then your representation has meaning to the artist and to the collector and to the viewer. Curators from the Madison, Wisconsin Modern Museum saw his collection and quickly chose paintings for their show. Dominguez advises new collectors to study their subject, then move with deliberate passion. To, to, some, to some collectors, I mean, they just buy impulsively. And I do the same thing. Right. But, I mean, take a step back and you learn it. It's a trial and error. Both gifted and daring, Dominguez, who works as a doorman, has a personal vision rather than a big number as his ultimate goal. One of the movement's first committed supporters, he describes his introduction to lowbrow art dealer Jonathan Levine. Put his hand on his belly and he started rubbing it. He goes, you know what? He goes, this is amazing, but you're not focused. I said, this is it. Inspired by Gary Baseman's evil genius, Dominguez committed his collection to a dialogue with spiritual undertones. Religious art doesn't really move me a whole lot. It's, it's the subtle tones of the religious theme thing. Dominguez has added Fauvists and Weimar influences to the lowbrow mix. He's always hunting for the perfect acts to join his stage. Along the way, experts have offered to help, saying, Hi, I'm a curator. Let me help you out. And this is how it's done. I did it myself. Together with his husband, Dominguez has crafted a set worthy of the collection. The beauty of the art, he explains, is that every piece has meaning. Everything you touch has stories to tell. In here, it's, there's a theme as well, and it's basically works on paper. In this series of portraits, we see a kind of complex performance, where framed personalities vie for your attention. The Dominguez collection has set a high bar for low brow and success has inspired a new passion for wall space. As you get older and as things become personal, I, I think I've made that decision that I'm not going to sell. I don't think so. I mean, then again, it's a journey. I believe in what I do. This is Now On. I'm Julia Morton for City Arts and cityarts.info. Thank you for watching.